Hi everyone! Today's project is loosely inspired by automatist painter Jean-Paul Riopel, whose really cool painting Vallée is currently on display in our Salon Hain exhibit. Now, you won't need many materials for this project. To start, you'll need a surface to do your project on and tape. I chose to work on a tote bag I found in my house, but you can do this project on a paper, canvas, t-shirt, old pair of jeans, literally any surface you choose. What I'm doing is taking the surface I chose and taping off a section. I chose to make a rectangle to imitate a traditional canvas, but you could do it in any shape you'd like. This is especially great if you're doing this with a younger child because as you'll see soon, they can do whatever they want within that line. I put extra layers around to be extra sure that I wouldn't pass them. Next materials you'll need is paint. I'm just using paint I had in my house that I believe I picked up from the dollar store, which is still open. I've picked random colors because in Rio Pérez painting, he has a lot of different colors that aren't necessarily complementary of each other. Some are, but some aren't. I just took a quick moment here to admire also how cool my blobs look, and then you'll need your brushes and other miscellaneous materials that apply paint, which I'll explain why later. Next, what you're going to do is just apply the paint freely without much thought at all. I really want to put emphasis on that, and I really don't want you to think too hard about what you're doing. Using any materials you like, whether it be Kleenex, sponges, paint brushes, literally anything. So you're applying the paint within your square, rectangle, diamond, whatever tape border you've created. To explain why we are applying this paint so freely, the Automatist, a Canadian art movement from the 1940s in Quebec, was really trying to break from traditional ideas of art, and so they began experimenting with non-representational painting. Artists such as Ria Pell favored fluid painterly techniques over the hard edge abstraction that was quite popular at the time. They were also inspired by the Surrealist movement, which I encourage you to research on your own time, it's really cool, whose work was often stream of consciousness inspired, meaning that you would try and let everything flow and not think or worry about what's happening. This resulted in increasingly crude or intuitive methods such as applying paint with palette knives and fingers, which I did earlier, and even painting blindfolded, which I did not do. But if you'd like to give that a try, absolutely go for it. I don't think Riopel did it in this case. The painting Valley kind of resembles a mosaic of stained glass, which is an effect I don't think I achieved, you might have, but the point of this project is to explore abstract art and just apply paint in a free way with no pre-planning involved, similar to Lisa Tomatist, which I'm sure you did a great job of. Once you felt like you finished, you can remove all the tape and voila, there you go, your Automatist inspired work of art. Don't forget to sign your name, you are the artist after all. Let the project dry and now this next step is completely optional. I chose to do it because I was working on my tote bag and I knew I probably wouldn't be washing it much anyways, but I still wanted to protect it. So I took some Mod Podge, which I found at the dollar store and covered it completely. Don't panic about how it looks now. Once it dries, it'll be clear and as beautiful as it was before. Would you look at that? Now you have a really cool tote bag, t-shirt, jeans, something to put on your fridge. It's perfect. Thanks for tuning in and have a lovely rest of your day.